Hello, people of YouTube. This is Gray's Guitar. I am Steve Gray, and thank you for watching. I'm still getting over a cold a little bit here, so if you hear me snuffling in the video, I apologize in advance. So, I learned of a new artist, artist today. Uh, her, H-E-R, teams up with Fender for a striking limited edition Blue Marlin version of her signature Stratocaster. So, that's her stage name, is her. Uh, limited to 300 units, so very limited. Worldwide, the six-string eye-catching finish is inspired by fishing trips the guitarist took with her father as a child. Uh, since the launch of hers, Chrome Glow Finish Signature Fender Stratocaster in 2020. Oh, I did not realize she had a Chrome Glow Finish Signature in 2020. I'm going to look at that real quick. Okay, more of a silver color, I would I would say. Uh, we've seen the R&B guitarist wield... A series of eye-catching six strings, most recently a one-of-a-kind 56 Strat-inspired model with the insane stained glass aesthetic during a live action performance of Beauty and the Beast Broadway on ABC. So in the spirit of expanding uh, her repertoire of head-turning guitars, she teamed up with the old pals at Fender to create a new limited edition color for her signature Stratocaster. Boasting a, a new blue marlin finish, uh, she already said inspired by fishing drips. Uh, limited edition Stratocaster is a one-piece maple neck. You got the skunk stripe in there, mid-60s C-shape, 21 frets. I wish it had 22. 9.5-inch <clears throat> fender radius, vintage noise of the Stratocaster, single coil pickups. I mean, pretty pretty standard of a Strat. I mean, minus you're getting a six-point uh, tremolo, kind of the old style versus the you know the new versus the two two tremolo style. Uh, you got a custom engraved back plate. Uh, I think this is like a metal. I think the back plate and the pickguard are metal. Accompanying with the launch of the Guitar Fender has released a video. Miss Grammy Award winner discusses her father and her musical origins, so you can check that out if you want. Uh, they ultimately fed the creation of the limited hair trash. Check it out below. Uh, I distantly remember my father teaching me how to play my first blue scale on a Fender Mini back black and white Strat. Uh, she said in a press release, filming this interview with him, reflecting on my musical journey and the development of my second... Uh, signature Fender guitar has been surreal pinched moment. I designed my limited edition Stratocaster guitar with a color, shape, and sound that is 100% my own, so that young women and players from all backgrounds feel inspired to pick up the guitar, tap into their thoughts, and create amazing music. Now, this is the first time I've heard of her, um, so excuse my ignorance. Uh, we'll take a look at our Wikipedia page for a moment. Um, seems to be a fairly popular artist. Um, not, as I said, I personally haven't heard of her. That doesn't mean she's not popular, not famous. Uh, the launch of her signature Stratocaster 2020 marked a pivotal moment in Fender history as she became the first black female artist in the company's roster of signature guitarists. The Her Limited Edition Stratocaster is available for $1,349, limited to 300 units worldwide. Go to the Fender website. So this is something <clears throat> that I think will be, you know, scalpers are going to scalp. Um, as of me filming this, it's in stock. Who knows how long? Uh, something you might want to know, the only other guitar that I've seen this expensive, uh, made in, made in this factory is the George Harrison and the Jimi Hendrix. Um, I love matching headstocks, something I've always really loved. Love the color, love this, like, aluminum pick guard. Uh, six point versus two tremolo. I don't use it anyway, so I don't really even care. Uh, I'm sure it's a fly flay switch. Maple neck. Vintage tuners. It's made in Mexico. Uh, that may deter, um, deter, there we go, that's the word I'm looking for, uh, some people from buying this, because you're talking, it's a thousand dollar plus fender, and it's made in Mexico, although, the, 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 as I said, the George Harrison ones that were made in Mexico, and the Jimi Hendrix ones are definitely... Uh, they, they, they've kept their value, if not increased in value, because, you know, they, they do a limited run, you know, a little bit more, I think, they made than these. So it would not surprise me, uh, if this thing is going to go on a reverb for probably, like, two grand. And you'll, you'll probably get it. I mean, there's only 300 of these, so if someone really wants one, there you go. Um, I think being that her message seems to be about, you know, inspiring women to play music. I think it would be cool if they did a either, like, more mainstream regular Fender line or even a Squire line with similar specs. Um, that way, you know, something more affordable uh, for people to get into guitar. Because not everybody wants to, you know, drop almost $1,400 on a guitar. 
um, when they're first learning. I know I didn't have that kind of money when I started off. A lot of people don't. Uh, dynamic R&B performer, her, has uh, wooded audiences. Yeah, we kind of already read that. Uh, so, older body, blue marlin finish, mid-60s, 9.5-inch radius, 21 vintage tall frets, uh, matching painted blue, Fender noiseless Stratocasters, vintage synchronized. Let's see if we have any other specs. Yeah, we can do specs. Uh, polyester, so no nitro on this. Synthetic bone nut, which is fine. Uh, you get an abalone dot inlay which is pretty neat, so it's going to fluctuate in colors. Uh, standard scaling, 25 and a half. Ooh, good. Satin urethane with gloss urethane headstock face. Uh, so the back of the neck is going to be satin, which I love when Fender does that. Uh, vintage, let's see, we have five blade position. So you got the bridge pickup, bridge in middle, middle, middle neck, neck. Uh, stand everything. Everything's like it's basically just a, a, a strap with a <clears throat> fancy color. Um, limited edition. You know, I mean, it's, it's essentially the same thing as a, just a Jimi Hendrix strat to a certain extent, or just a regular Stratocaster. You know, it's it's essentially that with a fancy color, fancy dots. And I really love this thing. As I said, I I prefer 22 frets. That's that's a not that it would be a deal breaker, but I definitely prefer it. Um, but, uh, yeah, there you have it. Cool guitar available right now. Get one while you can. Um, it's probably within 24 hours of me making this video, this is going to be out of stock, and you're not going to see them again for a long time. Either that or they'll make another limited edition. Um, I'm actually curious. Um, let's go ahead to our Wikipedia page. So, um, born in 97, uh, pronounced her an acronym, having everything revealed. Okay. Uh, maybe, she is a American singer, songwriter, musician, actress. Uh, she has received several awards, um, including an Academy Award, Children's Family Emmy Award, five Grammys, Golden Globe Award, nominations for Golden Globe. Sorry, three Americans. So she's yeah, she's been on four Billboard Music Awards. Uh, so definitely a popular musician. As I said, I'm not particularly familiar with her, uh, being that I don't really listen to probably a lot of her style of music. Uh, what is it, like R&B or something? Yeah, best R&B album. Yeah, I don't really listen to a lot of R&B. Um, you know, more rock, metal, punk, grunge, stuff like that. That's kind of my go-to alternative. But I am curious. Um, let's see if I can find the Chrome one. Stratocaster. Let's see if we can see what the other those are going for right now. Oh, <clears throat> maybe they're not holding their value as I thought. Guitar Center has one for $900. I'm guessing these are probably right around the same price new. Um, yeah, there's one actually for $779. Um, who knows? Maybe maybe not as popular as I thought. Give it time, though. I don't know when these were released, but I see a lot of them for around $1,300, so I'm guessing that's probably what they were, roughly new. But... Um, Limited edition anything in the future, if you hold on to it for five years, you're going to get your money back, and then some. That's just how it works with, like, essentially everything. I mean, look at old Fenders, look at old Gibsons, it doesn't matter. You'll get your money back. Don't worry about it. If you have the money, I would say go for it. Uh, my name is Steve Gray. This is Gray's Guitars. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, leave a like, comment what you want to see for future guitar and music-related videos. Thank you for watching, and as always... Have a good one.